how is um how is working with the solopreneur coach types that we've done some work with um different than working with say an L&D department at an enterprise which we all also have done some work with um that's what might be interesting to hear from you on uh so that's a good question I think one of the big differences is, goes back to the outcomes really what are you trying to achieve right because like the the entrepreneurs that we work with a lot like you said the coaches they're a lot of times trying to make money like that ultimately that's their goal right they're trying to monetize their expertise in some way now they do that by you know providing valuable instruction experiences guidance to people and that value is translated into dollars and cents um corporate l d doesn't always have a, such a clear line of sight to that bottom dollar i would say um well that you can argue that maybe they should it's it's oftentimes more focused on um like knowledge and behaviors right so like how are we going to accomplish x or y and then from a more kind of tactical perspective a lot of corporate um corporate clients already have more of an established ecosystem to deliver and take training yeah and and your audience is kind of baked in like you don't have to worry about who's going to take it you're going to tell people you know that they are going to take it <laughs> versus kind of those entrepreneurs that you're talking about who really Need they're trying to sell their product yeah yeah are are uh, are you seeing uh l d departments um hip to the ai are they coming on board are they asking for it oh yeah i mean everybody's interested in it or everybody should be interested in it um but yeah there's definitely people talking and just a lot of people trying to figure things out some challenges that we've seen though more on the corporate side is um, some of the more larger conservative organizations, um, like some of them still block, like ChatGPT, for example. Like you can't even use it on the internet, right? Um, what is that? I don't, what does that mean, block? Uh, you can't go to the website. So if you were to try to engage with the oh. OpenAI API or with like ChatGPT directly on their website, you wouldn't be able to okay. from within their firewall it's blocked yeah yeah okay cool. so things like that so not all organizations are like jumping on the bandwagon because there are and to be fair there are some there are some risks associated with it there's some ethical questions maybe that need to be answered um and we haven't fully figured that out like you saw i mean i haven't followed it recently but i saw you know a few weeks ago like the new york times was suing or going to sue open ai over on how they train their model on some of their paywalled content so there, there's questions like that that need to answer that need good answers before um i think some of the larger corporate entities just jump on the bandwagon because it's potential lawsuits there 